6, a bill that addresses the opioid epidemic will be introduced to the Oregon Senate today. Fox News' Mia Villanueva joins us now live with more on what this bill would accomplish if it does pass. Mia? Kim and Shauna, House Bill 2395 aims to address the opioid and fentanyl crisis that is taking the lives of hundreds in Oregon. In 2021, 745 people died of opioid overdoses in the state. And according to the House, three people died because of what they call this growing epidemic. Now, the bill just passed the House yesterday. If it becomes law, it would make naloxone kits more available in public buildings like restaurants, grocery stores, police departments and schools. It would also allow the Oregon Health Authority to issue standing prescriptions for opioid antagonists. Now, an opioid antagonist is a drug that blocks opioids by attap attaching to opioid receptors without actually activating them. So essentially, it blocks the effects of opioids already in someone's system, including pain or even euphoria from the drug. The bill also calls, calls to just decriminalize the distribution of fentanyl test strips and other tools used as interventions for someone at risk of overdosing. During a hearing for the bill on January 30th, Multnomah County District Attorney Mike Schmidt discussed how the bill may impact someone who is currently abusing opioids or fentanyl. There's a perception that making short-acting opioid antagonists available to users encourages them to use more. Maybe the thought is that by knowing a life-saving tool is available, people will engage in riskier behaviors. But that perception is not borne out by the evidence or experience. From what my office observes in the criminal justice system, the vast majority of individuals who interact with the criminal system who have substance use disorders are not seeking naloxone so they can continue to use without consequence. They are seeking to naloxone so they can continue to live for another day. House Bill 2395 will go before the Oregon Senate today, and we will let you know how it goes right here on air and online at kptv.com. For now, reporting live, I'm Mia Villanueva. Good day, Oregon.